Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today I want to show you how to connect to an Excel file in Power BI. So let's take a look at my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. So I've got Power BI desktop open here, and there's a couple different ways that we can go about um, connecting to our Excel data. The first and the easiest way is just to click on Excel workbook here right from the home tab uh, and this will open up the, the directory for us to connect to our data. The second option is to click on the get data option and this will open up all of the different data sources that we can connect to in Power BI. And you'll see that one of the top ones since it's a most common one is an Excel workbook. So we'll just hit connect and it'll open up our file directory and we can choose which file that we want to choose from. So I'll choose this uh, file here and click open. And what this will do is Power BI is going to uh, automatically detect any worksheets that are in this uh, workbook and we can click on it to get a preview of the data so we can take a look to make sure that this is actually the, the workbook that we want to connect to. Uh, but as you'll see here, it's all grayed out at the load and the transform data button. And that's because we haven't actually selected this yet. So we actually need to click on this little checkbox to make sure that we're selecting this sheet and that we want to load this data to our model. Now we have the option of loading our data or transforming our data. So the difference here is that loading the data will load it to our data model as it is. Whereas if we click transform data, this will open up the Power Query Editor and we'll be able to uh, clean up our data and make any uh, transformations before we load the data. So this data is fine, so I'll just click load and we'll see how that propagates into, uh, into the Power BI desktop app. So after Power BI has done its thinking, uh, we'll be able to see our sheet one here from our Excel um, file. And if I expand this, we'll see all of the columns and we're ready to create some visualizations from it. So that's how you connect to Excel files from Power BI. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel to see more how-to videos and become a Power BI expert. See you next video.